the energy transition is fully on the way. Have you already figured out what the one common capability is that everybody is putting in place? The energy sector is a really interesting sector. There are lots of different parties in the sector, like energy producers, consumers, network operators, traders, and of course regulators that try to influence what goes on in the sector. The energy network is comparable to a water network. On the one hand, you have producers that put water in the network, which increases the pressure. On the other hand, you have consumers that open up the floodgates and consume that water. And it's up to the grid operators to maintain a constant pressure in the whole system at all times. In the old days, there was only one primary concern, to balance out costs versus security of supply. With the energy transition, a third factor came into play, namely sustainability. Energy producers are shifting the balance from fossil fuels to renewable energy sources like solar and wind. But these sources heavily depend on the weather, so that makes them more unpredictable than coal or gas power plants. Where production and consumption used to be very predictable, we now have higher highs and lower lows. And we only learn about them just before they arise, so we have less time to respond. This makes congestion management and capacity planning a key factor in day-to-day -day operations. Now, given all these parties that I just mentioned, you can imagine that the energy transition does not go without hurdles or conflicts of interest. An example would be the new storage methods, from batteries to electric vehicles, which are both an opportunity and a threat to the overall system. On the one hand, they provide the necessary flexibility to cope with the highs and the lows much better. On the other hand, their owners decrease the dependency on the grid for the companies in their direct vicinity. Another example is that companies in the sector battle with regulations. Because they invent new business models and build new alliances, they easily cross legal boundaries as to what business models they may have or what data they can exchange with whom. At the end of the day, we all strive towards the same goal. So I'm sure these issues will be straightened out eventually. The energy transition requires substantial investments. So it's no surprise that companies are experimenting a lot to validate that they're putting their money in the right places. There is one crucial capability that all companies in the sector are working on, data. Data is vital to effective decision-making. Parties use data to create the best user experience, to forecast production yields, to trade efficiently on the energy markets, and to get insights in their energy usage. And right at the heart of the, all these parties are the grid operators, where all these interests culminate. You could very well say that data drives the energy business. It comes therefore as no surprise that energy companies are building the digital platforms for their future operations. One of the key elements that those platforms need to provide is the ability to do business in real time. This is provided by a technique we call data streaming. In one of our next videos, I will talk about what data streaming is and how it helps companies in the sector to deliver better services. With use cases, I will show how this cool new technology allows you to ingest, process and act on data in real time. So if you're interested to learn more, please subscribe to our channel. Also, if you have any remarks, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.